evening to everyone and welcome to the non lee Social. It's me, Ali Sage. We've got Darren Arrow, we've got Ruben, and of course, we have got our roaming reporter, Dan Jones, with us tonight. He is at Roxy. Uh, how are we all? All good? Great, you? Very good. How are you? Not too bad, not too bad. We've already got one uh, person in the stream already, James Wilson. Of course, he is a uh, Distown uh, uh, player. Of course, right back he is. So, uh, yes, it's good to see uh, people already joining us already, which is uh, marvellous. They can't wait Very for good. the show. Very good. Excellent. That's what we need to hear. But I do have a quick mention from Mr. Jones, as we just said about him. Uh, if I can find my uh, lovely stream, which is no going wrong. Um, let's get to uh, Trafford Park with uh, Dan Jones. Well, good evening, Lee. Good evening, everyone. I am here at Trafford Park for Norfolk Senior Cup quarterfinal action between Wroxham and Downham Town. Whoever wins tonight will face Watt United in the semi-finals at the Football Development Centre. And that will be an interesting game. I'll bring you second half updates as they come. Other than that, good evening, Toasty. It's Thursday, the 28th of March, and this is the Non-League Social. And speaking of devil, he's already joined us. Mr. Dan Jones is here. Yeah, good evening, Lee. Good evening, everyone. The halftime score is 1-0 to Wroxham. And it, to be honest with you, it's been a very close half. The goal came from a very well-worked uh, ball into the box, uh, being saved by the keeper. And then the rebound came in on the bottom left corner. Downham had a very good chance a couple of minutes later, but was saved by the keeper. A very good save indeed. Uh, so it's definitely been an interesting half. Definitely been a good few chances for both sides. And yeah, very close game overall. Good. Uh, many in attendance at the game? Yeah, there's quite a bit. I'd say maybe around three, 400. Wow. It, it wow. is quite... Yeah. A, I'm, I'm very bad with predictions, so it could be a lot less. Um, but no, it, it does look quite a lot, though. Anyway, so no key moments lately? Um, no. Yeah, man on. Where's my keys? Come on. Out. Where's my keys? There's my keys. There's my keys. There you go. Now there's one for you. Hey, Dan's in the, in the chat. Did Dan use, use the sat nav? Of course I used the sat nav. It's not a non league one. There's without the sat nav. There you oh. go. Well, thanks, Dan. Appreciate it. Um, I take it's half time. Yeah, it is half time. That's what I just said. Good. Excellent. Okay, then. Well, uh, speak to you very soon. Yep, speak to you soon. See you, mate. Bye bye now. Wow. Oh, he, just, already. he did say that, Lee. Yeah, well, I wasn't listening. Oh. For a change. I should, should have really listened, shouldn't I? So, gentlemen, what have we been up to this weekend? Anything uh, good? Go anywhere nice? Low stuffed. Ooh. Ooh. The football club, I'm presuming. Well I, well, I hope so, anyway. Yeah, they, they beat Felix Doe, Lee. Felix Doe were rubbish. Right, okay. Yeah. Oh, Sadly, wow. but it was quite a dominant 2 0, really. Yeah, and there's wow. near a thousand people there. Yeah, just short 971. Uh, how about yourself, Ruben? Did you uh head over to any football uh, this weekend? Yep, I did. Uh, we got a 2 0 win, so that's so that's good. Um, I think it was one of the best performances we've put in for a very long time, so I was very impressed. So we were very happy going on. The short way back home. So, so yeah, it was a good day out for us. Very good. Good. Well, unfortunately, I didn't go to any because some people have to work these times, you know. These <laughs> things happen, unfortunately. But you never know. These things uh, happen. But uh, nevertheless, these things do happen. But you have any, key, any key moments at work, Lee? Always key moments at work. <laughs> always the key moments. Don't worry about that. We'll get up to that. Uh, sh sh Yes. Uh, you got a new uh, prop, haven't you? Anyway, Daryl, as you were uh, saying my to new... us before uh, we oh, come yeah. on Oh, yeah. My new prop, just for Norwich CBS, I've got a train. Look at that. It's kind of in the colours of CBS as well. Yeah. The train. That's like, that's a... 
I could join it together. There we go. <laughs> the highlight of the day. <laughs> That'll be a short that be cut out for you, you see? Anyway, so I'll get that out again later when we do further and un <coughs> one. Oh, are you right there, Ruby? You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm still not well. <laughs> All right, you're still you're still suffering then, are you? Oh yeah. Oh dear. But you'd be very happy though. Uh, over the uh, the Super Six uh, first week, should we get into oh, that? Yeah. First? Sure, you're doing that. I think we should. Well, we you know we need to see the table because there's been ten people who've actually uh, taken part of this uh, little tournament so far, and of course, yeah, hey. unfortunately, Ooh. for some people, uh, Ruben is top of the league on six <laughs> points. Then, of course, it's myself, Richard, Stephen on five points. Daryl's on four. Todd Ray, human Todd. Uh, he's on three. Game day. He is in the. Uh, in the chat as well, uh, he's on four with Todd. Then comes Mr. Dan Jones as he's at Roxham, he's on two. James 18, one. Gary's on one. And of course, Ben is on one as well. So, very close for the first week, but uh, there you have it. Uh, we do have a guest coming on very shortly. This time, managers go good. We'll be here very soon. Uh, should we get on with um, Kings in Town? Yeah, let's do it. Go on then. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Let's, are, you doing, let's... are you doing it in order again? Step two, three, four, five, six. And other stuff. Yeah. I do have a script with me for a change. And Wi Fi. Wi Fi is working. Don't worry about that. Wi Fi is working. That's what I'm sitting here. I love so how you I love how you always sit next to it now. <laughs> well, it works, doesn't it? So that's the main thing. <laughs> That's definitely yay. Keep, 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 anyway. part the, keep part of the show, that is. Yeah. Yeah, set up. Evening Toasty, by the way. Anyway. Hello, Toasty. Oh, dear. So here we go. Um, Saturday, uh, Tamworth at home. Uh, good result there for uh, Kings in Town, would you say, guys? Definitely. Oh, very good. Very good. I think they needed that point. Uh, of course, they were. Moments away for losing, don't we say? I think they scored in the 89th minute. Yeah, deflection. I did see that from old game day's uh, video there. Deflection um, gives them a, a point in course, nearly um, safety, I think, now. Don't you think, guys? Yeah, they'll be, they'll be fine. They'll They've be done fine. really well from the position they were in. Really well. Definitely, but then uh, tomorrow not, uh, tomorrow afternoon, they've got Scunthorpe away from home. Um, that's going to be quite a tricky game for them, isn't it? Yeah, weren't that long ago. Scumport played Norwich. In a yeah, championship. Yeah. In Colchester and everyone else. In a championship game, so they've fallen down, haven't they? Yeah, Scumport probably down. played Luton at one point. They probably Maybe. did. Yes. Uh, you still got a, a Derby Day uh, game there between uh, Kingston Town and Peterborough Sports. So that'd be an interesting uh, to see how they uh, finish the season. Hopefully, um, hopefully with a winning um, few games to go on that. But uh, hope everyone's doing well in the chat. Good evening to everyone. Um, hope everyone is doing very, very well. So, let's get there for King Soon. Shall we get onto the table? Let's do it. Yep. Well, it's not really a table. It's kind of like mid table. Half, so half like. the table. Half the table. Yeah. Most important part as uh, Kings in are there in a 17th position there. Um, level one points with uh, five Spartans there on 50. Um, Pete Bar Sports there, 49 points. And uh, go to, is it Farsi? That's going to be a good game when they play each other, isn't it? They're right next to each other on the table. Exactly. Of course, Bishop Stalford have been relegated now from uh, step two. So they go back to yep. step uh, three for, for next season, which is... Uh, not very good for them, but what can you do? Uh, Charlie Stone, good evening to you, Charlie. Hope you're doing well as well. But uh, yes, right then. But our first guest, or our only guest for today, Ooh. is uh, Garth Good. He is now joining us in our backstage So Let's get Garth in. Yeah, me on. Garth, how are you? Hey, guys, how are we? Very well. Very well, Thanks. yourself? Thank you. Yeah, it's good. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. That's all right. No worries. Uh, this town then, pretty well so far. Seventh in the league with only four games remaining. Yeah, I think we're we're very pleased. We're a little bit ahead of schedule. Um, 
where we thought we were going to be. So I think we can be quite pleased with that. So it's about building on the things we've been doing lately um, and trying to take that momentum forward into the last few games of the season and see where that takes us this year. But more importantly for us, how it sets us up for the season after, really. Yeah, how, how did you think it, it was going to plan out on pre-season? Because uh, last season you finished, finished in 12th. Uh, what was your aims anyway for for, uh, for this season anyway? So I, I took over in the summer. Um, that when, when that happened, we had a, a reduction in our budget um, and a lot of the players who were there last year decided to move on. So it was a, it was a complete rebuild. Um, uh, our first two or three training sessions we had only two or three senior players and a lot of under 18s and when i say under 18s really the majority of them were under 16 so at the start of the year there were some concerns about how how well we'd do if i if i'm being honest um and then of course our opening two games were um didn't go to plan shall we say um and at that point i think we're everyone's relegation candidates so mm. from that moment there the boys had to show real resilience and a determination to adjust to situations um i think we tried to turn that negative into a positive um so me, me and myself um and dan goffin sat down we spoke about it um we said actually boys what's the worst thing that can happen to you it's already happened so we tried to use that situation to build uh, a no fear sort of mentality um and to approach the rest of the season a game at a time and see where it takes us and to the credit to all those boys you know they've really shown a resilience and a determination to adjust um, to the league because a lot of them were signed from leagues below. Yeah. Um, and I think, we're, we're, as I said at the start, I think, to be honest, we're ahead of schedule where we thought we were going to be. So we're trying to look at the positives. There's, there's been some things that haven't been great this year. I think that's part of it when you build a new side. Um, but overall, I think we can be very pleased where we are. Good. That's, uh, that's the way... Uh... Continues. Of course, you've only got four more games uh, left of the season. Three of them are at home. Um, yeah. How do you think that the, the next four games are going to go? As you can <laughs> see, uh, it's always tough. Graphic. Yeah, yeah, it's always tough. I mean, we've got a tough run in, if I'm being honest with you, Lee. Um, we have to, there's a lot of other good teams we're playing in there. Um, so, you know, we the boys have high aspirations for themselves. And while they still believe that things are possible. You never know. It's a funny league, really. I mean, the teams, the, the top two have been the most consistent all season. Um, that's why they are where they are. I think the rest of the league have shown that anyone can be anyone in that situation. So it it's very possible we can go and get nine, ten points out of those games. It's very possible we come away with four points. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's that type of season, that sort of me being honest, there's some very good teams we've got left to play in Cornard and Holland as well and Peterborough. So, yeah, it, it's no easy game for us in there. Um, but all we can do, as I said to the lads last week, is approach the game in the right manner. Yep. Um, we have our game plan that we're, we're trying to stick to. Um, try to go back to Johan Cruyff's comment, football's a game of mistakes. The team that makes the le least mistakes wins the game. So, I think that's got to be our mentality going forward and how we try and approach the net the last few games of the season. Definitely. With the last the last two games which you just played, the Stanway Pegasus and Framingham Town, you know, you played pretty well and you got the right results at the end of the at the end of the uh, game. Yeah, yeah, we can be very pleased with that. I think we had a um Framer both sides are very good. I mean the the, the table never lies, does it? Um Fram are a very organized team, a very disciplined team. They they Took a two nil two nil lead at ours, sorry, um, and we had to dig deep and show what sort of characters. I've said to the boys, it's when things start to go wrong for you in football, you show what you're really made of, um, yeah. and they showed real character and resilience. And we were able to build on that on Saturday. You know, Stan were a team that haven't dropped many points at home this year, um, so to go down there and and win and get a clean sheet was a massive credit to the work that the boys put in in that in that moment in that game so when we perform like that um i think we we can give everyone a, in the league a good game we are quite a young side if i'm being honest with you lee um yes. and, and that being the case you know when you work with young players when they're good they're good um yes. what young players normally struggle with in comparison to more senior style players is their level of consistency and that's sometimes where we've been 
caught a little bit short this year, if I'm being honest. Fair enough. Uh, Daryl, Ruben, have you got anything to add? Um, I was just going to ask, um, is the playoff something you've got an eye on this year, um, Garth, or is that something you're um, looking at for next season? Uh, uh, while we're in and around it, if I'm being honest with you, it's, it's always nice to, to think about it. Um, we always said at the start of the year, if I'm being completely honest with you, that our ambition was to stay in the league year one. Um, we had a, quite a sizable reduction in our budget and players leaving, so we were determined to try and stay in the league. Um, which we've we've done. We've managed to surpass last year's points total, which we're really pleased about. Um, while it's mathematically possible, the players want to believe and some of the fans want to believe. And while they have that belief, then it's our job as a management team to try and do everything possible to keep that belief alive. So we'll go into every game. We go into Peterborough game with a determination to try and take the points we need. We need things to go our way away from us of course we do other games have to go in our favor but what as I said, while their beliefs there you want to stoke that far as much as you can uh Ruben, have you got anything to add well what i would say is i don't know an insane amount about the ins and outs of this is team and everything but it, do, it does seem like you've got a very good group of young players that have got you to the position that you're in so i think you've got a lot to be optimistic about to be optimistic about. i think um, I think you've probably got to be a bit careful to not expect too much of yourself the next season um, yeah. because the players are so young. And, you know, if you start struggling, maybe some of them might start panicking and things. But I think you've got a lot to be optimistic about from the first season of the project to where you are. And I think you've got a good chance of having a good season next year. Oh, let's hope so. I mean, we, we we sat down and it's like, I mean, we're not naive. We know lots of there's lots of good teams with the same ambition at these levels. Yeah. Um, and we, we set down our plan. And when we said, look, year one was a consolidation, trying to build a, a, a foundation this year with year two. We wanted to try and make sure we finished in the top half of the league. And then our ambition was by year three to try and push to get in the playoffs um so that was our long-term vision when we started in the summer um i do agree with you ruben there's been some positive aspects this year and it and it's easy to get a little carried away um sometimes and start thinking and, and dreaming a bit bigger um me personally i've always kept my feet fairly on the on the ground i try not to get too excited when we win and i try not to get too downhearted when we lose because it's the nature of the beast right there's lots of good teams in that league all with the same ambition to, to want to get out um, what we've really sat down when I've spoke to some of the senior players within the team, and we haven't got loads of them, but when we have had a conversation, I think what we've focused on and talked about a lot is if we really have that ambition, we have to learn from the teams that are near the top of the table. And what we can learn from them is their level of consistency is what we've sometimes been lacking. And that's part of a, a young player's journey, isn't it? It's great to be great in one-off games. It's can you do it over a course of a season, week in, week out, when things don't go right, when things go wrong. Um, so it's a nice, it's been a learning curve for some of those young lads. Um, I think the positive is, generally speaking, I think we can be quite proud. I think the fans are quite proud of the effort that the boys are putting in. It's, we don't always perform the level we'd love to. Um, but I think the fans are getting behind the fact that they can see what we're trying to do, how we're trying to do it. Um, producing players internally. Um, and I think they understand it's never going to be a quick fix. So they understand it's going to be a, a little bit of a longer longer project from us, but they can see where we're trying to get to, which is half the game, really. Well, Garth, we'll wish you all the best for the next four games. Hopefully you, you get the right results, what you need. Maybe a playoff final, you never know. But um, You never know. You wish never you know. all the best for the four uh, games from end of the season. And thank you Brilliant. very much. Us. Thanks for your time, gentlemen. Thanks for having me on. I do appreciate it. Cheers, Garth. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks now. Bye now. Bye. Bye. Okay, then. That's uh, Garth Good, who is the Disc Town Manager. And I really do think they've got a really good chance at the moment. As you saw from the graphic, they are in seventh position. Oh, hello. Don't even get myself in, do we? Uh, seventh position. I'll tell you what, Lee. If, yes. If um, they can take it to the last day of the season, mm. this cornered. I think you better get down there. Well, I'm going to uh, deer and town, aren't we? Um, what kind of... It's up to you, really. 
this corner. Could be, uh, could be in a banana split outfit at uh, uh, this town. That'd be interesting to see. Banana splits at this town. Yeah. <laughs> it could be in the middle of the goal instead. No, I'm joking. I think if this need to win that game to get in the playoffs, I think we've got to go there. Okay. Sorry, Toasty. Evening. Uh, but yes. Well, uh, they will be secured in the playoffs by the 20th of April, won't they? Weren't they? Well, hopefully we'll get to uh, Deerham Town and the playoff picture very, very soon. And, of course, Ruben there is uh, with Newmarket Town still in there, mm -hmm. aren't you? Playoff Back final. Second, playoff final, Newmarket Deerham. You heard it. That'd, be, uh, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that'd be very interesting. Hey, Ruben? Yeah, it would be. <laughs> yes. Right, anyway. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> moving on swiftly on that one. Uh, we'll get to that very, very soon. Oh, we have got some uh, other... People who's joining us, I'm a wave. Ooh. Still top of the table, of course, after the results on Saturday, but we will come back to that. Uh, if you want to watch uh, the Amber Wave show, they do have a podcast that's live on their YouTube channel at the moment. Also, Charlie has been saying, only disadvantage is teams around them with games in hand. They, that's, that is true, but you never know in football, do we? Lee, uh, Lee, I think if this went all four, they'll get in. If they don't, they won't. Okay, dokey. Uh, we did have um, Luke Johnson was going to come on for Goulston, but unfortunately he's uh, got something planned, so hopefully we'll get him on very, very soon. <coughs> but um, big news in the week as well. Uh, we do have um, another. We did have another semi-final for the Senior Suffolk Cup semi-finals, where <coughs> Felix Stowe and Walton go through. As Luke Ingram did actually predict, didn't he? He did predict that. He so did. Um, it was a tight, tight game, though, by the sounds of it. It was a very tight game. Go, think, didn't go in the end because it was raining. I think Ben Cunningham was there. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry? Ben Cunningham was there. Yes, Mr. Cunningham it was there. I'm not sure if he's in the stream, but <coughs> Ben. Yeah, I, I, think I've got, I think I've got Bruman's cough now, but never mind. Um, <laughs> I'll probably give it to you. Yeah, you probably have. Um, mm. through, through the uh, Wi-Fi. StreamYard cough. Yeah. yeah. Darryl, you need to join in. All right, anyway. Uh, <laughs> so they face a new market in the Suffolk Premier Cup final. Of course, the date and venue is yet to be decided. Well, we know where the venue will be, don't we? Really? No. Where's that going to be? Colchester. Mm, not sure about that because of the pitch. Why? <coughs> That's where they always are. Yeah, but Colchester's in Essex, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Everyone, I don't know. Everyone wants, everyone wants an answer to that. Yes, we never know. But we do have some two. Uh, we do have some uh, two major cl uh, clubs in a major competition to get what? to Wembley. The Vars. The Vars Cup. Oh. See, look at I that. Love the Vars. We love the Vars, don't we? So you've got Romford and you've got this, uh, Great Awakening Rovers. They are in cup action this uh, weekend. Are they playing each other? No. Oh. Romford are playing, I believe, a Lincoln United away from home and Great Awakening Rovers are playing Worcestershire City. At home or away? Worcester City. Home. And then that's the uh, cup final emissions for the Challenge Cup as Harlow... Um, unfortunately, well, fortunately, fortunately, beat uh, Long Malford, our friends at Long Malford, on penalties by 9 8. Uh, they've gone through to meet down in town at this town on the 6th of May, Monday, the 6th of May. And that's some information from there as well. Eight pounds to go and watch that. Love it. That's it. Eight pounds to go and watch them as well. So we'll be, we'll be there, maybe. We'll be there. I hopefully we'll be Depends. there for a cup playoff cup final as well. We'll be somewhere. 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 Uh yes. We'll be somewhere so, on that day. Somewhere. Somewhere on that day. But uh, also I forgot to mention we did have our first 309 trophy. Is it this is a cell cup trophy? Stone Market Town versus Houston Town under 23s? Oh yeah, got it. Yes. Stone Market Town won on penalties by four goals to three. Uh, it was a 2-2 draw at the end of the 90 minutes. This was played at Hadley United. 
And, of course, Jimmy Brown is the manager for Stowmarket Town under 23s. They are top of the reserves or under 23s a league in the third oh nine. So, could be a double for them. Hope so. Could be. You never know. You never know. So, where should we go to next? Step three, I believe. Ooh. There we go. Look at that. If by magic. It's oh, there. Need, um, need a market. Oh. Uh, yeah, I was just about to say that. Need a wow. market. That was an interesting uh, game, wasn't it? Hmm. Mm. Losing three, goal, three goals to nil uh, away from home, but uh, still top of the league, aren't they? They are. Not quite a long distance, I think. Still. Which, you'll sh- which you'll show us in a minute, I'm sure. Don't worry. It's all in hey. hand. Don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, Non-league wonders, Mr. Dan Jones, did um, um, tell us about the attendance. Uh, what did he say? About 600? 300, 400? 300 400. So what is it, about 120? Guess what? Yeah. 165. I, well thought, that. I thought that was incredibly high, what he said. Yeah. Mm. 165 isn't awful, but... But there was never, there was never going to be 400 there on a Thursday night. No, this, they have kicked off as well. It's 56 minutes into the uh, second half. It's still 1-0 uh, to one Roxham. Nil. It is still 1-0 to Roxham because I've got the Vinnie printer right on top of my screen. So. Well, if they don't if they don't get to the final, there's something wrong, isn't there? Uh, yeah, and they've got to play Watton, haven't they, in what? the, oh, the semi finals at the FDC, haven't they? If they don't get to the final, it's embarrassing, really, isn't it? Well, they should beat should beat Downham, and they should beat Watton. So it's basically a, a free pass to the final. Yeah, yeah we should wherever it will be paid. Well, the FDC or yeah. will it be Carrow Road? The understanding, Lee, is Senior Cup and Women's Cup at Carrow Road and the Junior Final at FTC. Well, we'll soon That's find out, won't we? Exclusive information for the social, your programme. See if it's right. I'll find out. I'm still waiting for the Norfolk FA to email me back. About what? To go. To film. Ooh. No, that's, no they, they won't let you in, Lee. That's, that's Sean Button's job. Are you sure? Yeah. Evening, Sean Button. Evening, Sean. Uh, well, I'm just waiting to find out whatever happens. Amber uh, Wave, FTC. There's so many better places to hold a final. Yep, I think like, there is. Like, like the park. Yeah. Yeah. But it's free. <laughs> <laughs> or your garden. Uh, my garden's not that big enough. Yeah, but better than FTC. Uh, maybe it was grass, isn't it? So, but uh, <laughs> hello, hello, FTC. But, <laughs> you're, you're definitely not getting in now. <laughs> no, probably not. But hey ho, see if I watch the show anyway. Evening, all out <laughs> FTC. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, the North FA shut up now. <laughs> anyway, oh, uh, surprise good. result <laughs> there. Grass. <laughs> all right, okay. <laughs> Rue is just sitting there going, what the hell am I Stephen, doing? Stephen, Stephen would have enjoyed that one, Lee, what you just said. <laughs> yes, Stephen would love that. Uh, and uh, everybody, at De- everybody at Deerham Town would have as well, because they hate the FTC. <laughs> they could play at Deerham Town, can't they? Deerham Town, yeah. Hire Deerham Town. Everyone hire Deerham Town, because they need lots of money. Break it in. <laughs> Do you want to just rewind that? No. Everybody needs lots of money. Everyone. So do I, but uh, never mind. Anyway. Carry on, Lee. We better carry on before we get in trouble. <laughs> yes, we will. Uh, well, before, before you, you get in trouble. trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Who's going to get into trouble? Uh, so we've got Lacey, <laughs> unfortunately, lose 3-0 to Stanford. That was one of our Super 6 uh, games. Oh. Um, that was a bit rubbish. I know. That, uh, Stephen, didn't he put like 9-0 to Lacey or something stupid? I think that was right. 9-0. I'm all right, Stephen. So he got a point then? No, he got zero. What? I have no idea which one. Oh, he put Lacey. Right. Oh, put Lacey. I thought you meant he put Lacey. It was 9 0. He put Lacey 9 0. Sorry, right, I've gone through it all. So you can see it on screen in a second. Uh, Stalbridge versus AFC Sudbury, a uh, uh, one all uh, draw there. Um, it's fair to say that um, I think Sudbury could be going down, unfortunately. Mm. Do we feel? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Which yes, will be a shame. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, it will be. Uh, but there you go. We'll see what happens. Anyway. I'm still, laughing. 
I'm what? still laughing about the grass. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Evening all. Oh dear, I'm going to get shot to pieces. <laughs> right away. <laughs> Fixtures for this week. Tomorrow night, tomorrow evening. Uh, the 29th of uh, March. FC Telford uh, versus uh, Rich United. Riddich? 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 Yes. And then we've got a Derby Day. Heacham Town versus Needham Market. Probably is going to be live on uh, Heacham's um, radio station. Heacham. Mm. Heacham. Canaries, they are. Oh, you, Hitchin, you mean? You said Hitchin. Hitchin. Sorry. Hitchin. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, what I reckon it will be Hitchin. light on there. Carry on. Hitchin. There we go. Right. <laughs> Shut up. Right, anyway. Easter Monday. <laughs> Stop moaning at me. Uh, Derby Day. Needham Market versus FC uh, ASC Sudbury. Ooh, big, big Ooh. game, that is. But On both not- sides of the table. But it's not on the uh, Super Six. Sorry. Uh, oh. Also, you got Leicester away to uh, Royston Town. St. Ives is playing Stamford. And that's it for step three. Good evening, all. Hope everyone is doing well. Join us so, so far. Oh, and we've also, also, did you know? No. Did you know? No. Simeon Jackson. Oh, my God. Simeon Jackson has actually signed for AFC Sudbury. Get him on the show. See? Try to statement signing made for Subbury's Simon Jackson. Get him on the show next week. That's your challenge. Oh no, are you here next week? Uh, depends on what day you want it. It's either going to be our Wednesday, possible Thursday. But I'm working. Let us know. Well, let everyone mm. else know. We can do Wednesday. It's fine. Do Wednesday, which is the third, but you're not here because you've got to do the. I'm at the dentist. And then the fo- <laughs> What was that? Uh, yeah, that. <laughs> that's the stuff. I don't know what that was. That's for, that's for the team. Right, anyway. Oh, dear. Well, I lost the plot. Um, and, then, uh, and then Mr. Dan Jones is going to be taking over for me on the 10th of April. And then I'll be back for a week. And then he's going to be taking over for a few weeks because I'll be on holiday. Super. Where are you going? Uh, Lanzarote. Oh, oh, it's great, isn't it? So, can you, uh, you do it live from Lanzarote? No, I'm not. No, I don't, I don't bring you. I don't think you'd come back in a marriage, would you? Uh, no, probably not. Carry on. There you go. So, we actually on the social will be a dream. Yes, Dan. Dan, any school line? Probably not. No, it's not. Uh, Still one nil. Um, hopefully we can get him on, but we we we'll we'll try. He's probably having uh, one of them, he's probably having one of them amazing burgers at um Roxham. Charlie's put poor commitment. Yeah, I try Charlie, my best, but that's Charlie, right. Charlie can come on while you're away. Well, it's going to be you. It's going to be Ruben. It's going to be Dan anyway. So you know, it's three of you. Yeah, sort that, that. out. Get Ben on. But will Dan be able to? Handle, will Dan be able to handle the banter? What with his key moments? Keys. Anyway, anyway where, where's your little teddy bear? Anyway, have you got well, a teddy not, bear with you? I haven't got it with me. Shocking, bad. The teddy bear is getting some rest. Yeah, obviously, he is. Anyway, it's too late for him. He's in bed. <laughs> um, Steve's put the. Hey, live from Atlanta with a point and it's any two shorts. Um You see, yeah, Lee, there's what, demand what? for you to come live from Lanzarote. It's not happening. So sorry, Nicola, it's happening. It's not happening. Uh <laughs> 2-1-0 to uh Roxham. Believe me, it's not happening, honestly. Um not if you want to live. <laughs> anyway, here's the league uh, table. See, I, I've done this, I've done this a little bit more differently, so I can actually see it for I love your league tables, by the way. Why? Yeah, I just deta- just just the right amount of detail, not too much, just everything you need. Well, that's a lead table. That's what you. That's what you yeah. do. Some of them have all that home wins, away wins, and all that. Stuff. Oh, we don't worry about that. You don't need anyway, all that. Yeah. Just, of course, yeah. need a market seventy six. Um, as we said last week, they're going to win. I think um, it's quite. Yeah. 
it's quite uh, interesting. You've got Stratford, Stratford there, town, 59 points. And then it's got two teams there on 60 points as well. So it could be those like those five, would you say? Or those four, shall we say? Yeah. Right, so how many games How many games are left? Because non and Borough have gone out. So it's six games for them. <laughs> yeah. You're so right. I think it's about six games left uh, in this league. You're right enough. Yeah. Stratford a bit there, Lee. Saying us, saying us them four. They're only a point. They're only a point behind. That's what I mean. I was just saying. You you kind of agree. Do you think it's going to be those four, or would you think Stratford are going to? Get... Stratford Stratford have got a great chance. They have. You're right. I've got no um, idea what the fixtures are, but they've got a great chance. They're definitely in it. Don't worry. We'll get to the. Well, hopefully, we've got. Uh, you see the fixtures for that for that league. Uh, there you got Layston, who's sitting in the thirteenth position. I think that's where they're going to be staying, mid table, safe. Um, and then I. Say so, AFC Sudbury need a win, don't they? Uh, I think still they need time. A win. They can still they, do, they can still do it, but they need a win very very soon. I think they need to uh, start winning, especially on uh, on Monday. If they yeah. if they're playing Hitchin at all, that'd be a game, wouldn't it? <coughs> it would be, uh, but uh, need the market are playing Hitchin. See Hitchin. What, Hitchin. That's another big. That's another big game. It Ooh. is. Very big game. Um, so yes, so need the market for everyone. Yeah. Check. Need the market. Yeah. Clap. Yep. Step four. Woo! The interesting league coming up. It's the best wow, one. Wow, that's hot one. Uh yes. So uh shock result, I believe. Bouncy mm. Pixie won Berry Town Nil. Yeah, they were very that result went down very, very well at low stuff. I bet it did. I bet they got a huge yeah. cheer. Yeah. They were very happy with that. Guess what? Not for me. Uh, Galston 4, Enfield 1, Hadrian Swift 2, Grace Athletic 0, Essex Rogers 2, Bassett United 1. Of course, Hijitian. The Bananas will be very happy. Evening, Bananas. Evening, the Bananas. I thought I had a prop for Bananas, but I don't. Um, never mind. Maybe next week. Uh, Lowestoft Town 2, Phoenix Down, Walton 0. Good result there for Lowestoft Town there. Yeah. And New Salamis 5. 5 star. Darryl, you need to like that's it. You need to move there. Uh, 5 star performance 5 against Stenmark at 1. But you know what's happening with New Salamis folding at the end of the season. And Stowe, are, stay and Stowe are staying up. And Stowe are going to be staying up. Go on, Stowe. There we go. <laughs> uh, sorry, what? Go on, Lee. Explain. So, New Salamis is actually folded at the end of the season, and that means Stone Market will stay up because you've already got East Thur Thurrock already being folded already, the first team, and New Salamis' first team is going to fold as well. Oh, so, so they're still means... playing, but they're going to fold in eventually. Yeah. At the end yeah, of the so... season. Must work, Sam. Yeah. Uh... There we have it. So they're going to be staying in step four. Stone market. Stone market. Well, they've got away with that one, haven't they? They yeah. have indeed. Uh, next one down, you've got Redbridge Neil, Roxham Neil, and you've got Webster uh, Neil, Brighton C2. On to Tuesday, back to normal winning ways for Berry Town, Boston United 1, Berry Town 3. Brentwood Town against Bowers and Pitts, who got abandoned after 56 minutes because of waterlogged pitch. Ooh. There Ooh. you go. 56 minutes. You might as well still play, don't you? It must have been pretty bad. It must have been. Uh, Redbridge against uh, Grace Athletic got postponed. Mm. Stone Market won. Whitton Town won. I believe Mr. Dan Jones went to that game as well. Yeah. I thought about it, but I decided against not, it. Not to. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> um, Charlie said, Will Stone won. What that, or would they rather go down? Sounds silly, but relegation could be better for them. You have to ask Stone Market Town about that. Um, it's hasn't been great for them, has it? But uh, with all the crowd, it's been quite good. I think um, they still get the three hundred plus uh, through the through the gates. So you know, it's well, that's it's been, incredible. It's you really say, good. You say that, Lee. Although there was only a hundred and something there on Tuesday night. No, apart from that game. 
All right, we'll let him off. Let him off. It's only that game, isn't it? England, <laughs> England are playing. Depends what the average is. Yeah. Um, I don't know, actually. Someone can check for me. <laughs> probably 200 something. Right now? <laughs> it's probably just about 200. Uh, Amber Wave, crazy to see that Stoke could finish with less than 10 points and stay up. Yep. That's right. Uh, there was some actually some um, transfer news from uh, Stone Market. You're right there, Daryl. Keep yeah. You, up. you sure? You're right. <laughs> Jesus, I'm not that bad, am I? Um, yeah. Our friend of the show, Seth O'Neill, has actually gone. He's actually uh, signed for Felix Stowe and Walton for the remainder of the season. <laughs> so hmm. he's actually on loan from Ipswich Town as well. They've so. got a big game on Saturday, Lee. Yes, I'm coming to that. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Chill. Don't worry. We'll come to that very soon. Uh, and of course, Goulston, unfortunately, losing there to Brighton City by a goal to nil last night. So It's not been very exciting at Goulston, has it, the last two Wednesday nights? Because they had a nil-nil with Wolf from Stowe last week. Yes, they did. And then you got a one-nil. Someone I know went to both games and they said they're the worst two football matches they've ever been to in their life. Oh, dear. Yeah. Was it a Goulston fan? No, it was a neutral fan. Oh. 75 right. years old. He said it's the worst two football matches he's been to in his life. Oh, so hello, neutral fan. Um, <sighs> there you go. Uh, what a game versus Felix. It's a must-see game that. I think he's talking about Barry Town there. But, uh, I was tempted. Were you? By um, Barry Felix too. So why didn't you go then? Mm, I might still yet. Who knows? Oh, you might do. Anyway, let's get some fixtures in. Bumper fixture list coming up for Saturday and for Monday. Woo! <clears throat> so here we go. Saturday, Bowser versus uh, Brentwood Town. Bowser puts the versus New Zealand. Berry Town there versus Fitzdale and Walton. That's going to be over a thousand people. Should we put a bet on that? No, we won't. No, nine hundred ninety-nine guaranteed. Five star. It's very, very tough versus Phoenix, though. And Walton, I think it's going to be a thousand. Uh, Goulston versus Grace Athletic. Ipswich Wanderers versus Roxham. Norfolk Suffolk Derby. Nil nil. Uh, uh, as well. Sorry? Be some be a good crowd at that one as well. <coughs> should be. It should be. Especially with the Bananas in uh, in tow as well. So that would be quite good. Marjorie yeah. Chip Street versus Lowestoft Town. Stone Market Town versus Redbridge. And Whitton Town versus Volstow. There on Saturday, on Monday, Easter Monday, you got Brentwood Town versus Whitton Town. Uh, then you got Brighton Sea versus Stone Market. Finchdale Water versus Ipswich Wanderers. It's a 12 30. <laughs> yeah, that's that's because. <coughs> do you know why that is, Lee? Ipswich Town. Ipswich Town, 5 30. You get the Southampton. So you, can why... go, so you can go to both. If you, you really can go want to go to if you really, really want to, yes, which will be good. Uh, then you've got Grace Athletic versus uh, uh, Bowser Pitsley, Hayley Swift, Swiss uh, versus Marjorie Tiptree, Lower Star versus Berry Town. Might be there. That's a big game. Yeah. That's going to be another thousand, isn't it? It's got to be a thousand. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there, Lee. Who oh, are you? Excellent. Uh, Lisa Lawrence versus Bowser United, Washington versus Enfield, and then, of course. Norfolk Derby there, Roxham versus Goulston up at Trafford Park. Has Mr. Dan Jones come back into the stream? No. Oh, he has. He's back. Oh, 2 0 then, it must be. Well, I don't know yet. We'll find out. Hang on. Let's get him on. It's got to be 2 0, surely, if he's got a goal. Well, we never know. Or a red card. Maybe. He might just be seeing if the internet's working. Maybe. Don't say that. Stop going on about my internet. God, if I can get him on. No, his internet of the game. Wow, well, you never know. Is he, is he coming in or not? Hang on. For God's sake. Goal. He's got a goal. He says in the chat. Hang on. Shush. Here he goes. There we Hello. go. There we go. Downham have equalised. Oh. I know. Literally, I Rockham on came on the attack. It was cleared by the goalkeeper and that clearance met the header of the Downham defender, of the attacker I meant. Roxham won, Downham won. Cheers, Dan. Thanks very much. We'll see you very soon. See you soon. Bye-bye. Wow. You got that wrong, didn't I? <laughs> Something like your predictions as well, isn't it? Anyway. Yeah. 
Well, I don't think you're top, are you? Not yet. Uh, go on, down. Go on, down. There we go. Um, we know who's top. This person down below here. Yeah. This guy one. here. This one. Him. By only one point. Him. <laughs> only by one point, but we'll get to that very soon. Don't worry about that. Uh, so. <coughs> Next. Next. Hang on. We need to get the league table up, don't we? <laughs> Come on, give me a chance. Oh, that's an easy. Uh, no. no, no. Shush. It's not working today. Uh, there we go. Ooh. Back. So. Barry, Barry have still got a chance. Of course they have. Still they got a chance. Win, win, their chance. Game, win their game in hand and beat Lerstoft. Wow. Yes. It's going to be very interesting on Easter Monday for that game between Barry Town and Lerstoft. So, well, either at the end of Monday, Barry will either be in it or completely out of it, won't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I believe they'll still have a playoff posi uh, position anyway. Oh, oh, yeah, they will. But you'll know on you'll know by Monday tea time whether they can win the league or not. Exactly. And we'll yeah. find out that next week as well. So that'll be interesting to uh, go on the show. See if we can get any of those three of the. Uh, hopefully, we will get Stuart Broadley on from Felix Stone Watwood. So that'd be quite good uh, if if we do it on a Wednesday. Mm. Even Stuart. So that even will be Stuart. Very, yes, that'd be very good. Anyway, <laughs> here we go. Step five. Ooh. Right, are we ready for this? So Saturday, Brentford uh, Athletic one, Holston Town of four. Wait for it. Deer in town. Three. Kirkley and Hatefield. Two. Evening toasting. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Love you. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. But... Oh, my God. I just brought it. Anyway, carry on. <laughs> Deer in town. Two. Henry United. Two. Lake and Ear for one. Sheringham nil. Long Manford, Two. Heach and one. My Bolton Wanderers. Four. Ely City. One. Washington the Willows. One. Franklin Town. One. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Yeah, Woodbridge Town at a nil and uh, Fitford Town at two. Tuesday night, wait for it. Ely City nil, Newmarket Town two. There you go. Lovely. Even Newmarket. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Heat you, uh, nil, Holston uh, Town and nil. Washington with those three. So in Town Rangers nil. And Mr. Cross wasn't very cross mm. there, was he? Uh, with that result. No. I, thought, I think it'd be quite cross with that result. It'd be very, very cross about that. So, uh, Norman Hall Town, they're playing Woodbridge. They only need to beat Woodbridge if uh, to be champions if Durham and Fetford, apparently. Um, I don't think that's right. No, it's not right. Um, I think, I think if, if Newmarket, Mobile, Fetford, and Durham don't win, Norman Hall will be crowned champions. So it's not going to happen this week, then. I don't think it's going to happen this week. No. Week. Well, it's a matter of time, anyway. It's going to be very. It's going to be very soon, isn't it? Using so, our well, poor little brains now. Yes, I know. Terrible, isn't it? It's not going to happen this week. It's not going to happen this week. Uh, the, the teams in the playoffs now will be the ones at the end of the season, probably. Yes. Yeah, that's probably true. That's probably true. So the ones which you see on the screen there, the top right hand side, Newmarket, Mobile, Fit, Fit, and of course Deerham Town. I think they're the ones which are going to be in the playoffs. Did you, did you just say Durham Town? Yes. Evening Toasty. Evening all. Uh, Evening Toasty. Five star. Right. Five star and a key moment. We might have another key moment. Key moment later on. But, uh, never mind. Anyway, let's move on swiftly. Please do. Why? Mm. <laughs> Ruben's just going, mm, okay. So, Ruben. Ruben, no, no Ruben's like, I don't know who these people are. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, Saturday, 23rd of March, FC Subway Reserves 3, Winter Sea 3, <laughs> FC Peterborough 2, Swaffham and Neil, Framingham 1, Holland 1. That's a great result there for Great Yarmouth. Amber Wave will be very, very happy with that. I think Amber Wave will be getting the champagne out soon. I think there might be. Harridge uh, 2, Holbridge 4, Haverhill Borough 2, Whitton United 2, Lacey and 23 0, Kynard United 4, 
Me the market under 23 is two. Haver Hill Rovers four. Staying away. Progress is nil. This town one. And we've had a three. FC Pass and Rovers six. Six. Unbelievable. Uh, as you see on the top, uh, on the other side, you got Great Yarmouth, who are top of the league, Framingham Town, second, Stanway Pegasus, third, Holland, fourth, Connors United, fifth, Harridge, and this are on the same points. And of course, Holbrook's there on 57 points. Very, very close indeed. Choo choo. Yes, we haven't got to that bit. Um, no. Not yet. <laughs> and the wave goes, yeah, that's going to be a new catchphrase. Um, champagne is in the fridge already. Already? How many Love champagne that. bottles have you got already? Love it. <laughs> <laughs> we must have quite a few already. I just realised, Lee, that CBS didn't play, did they? No, I'm coming to that. I'm coming to CBS in the next bit, so don't worry. Bloody train. <sighs> Uh, the Chinese, the Chinese yeah. takeaway must be. Oh, he's out the window. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, so, tonight's result uh, fixtures so far Roxham one, down in town one. What's this? Do you want to read them out? I said the Chinese must have wondered where CBS were. No wonder. Yeah. Never mind. Even in the CBS. Uh... <laughs> really? Do you see what I've got to work with? Next. You want me to read them out? Oh, Ruby, you can read them out. Go on. Go on, Ruby. Can you see it? Am I, am I reading them out? Am I? Go for it. Let you do something. Well, which ones am I starting with? Brantham versus Hadley. Brantham versus Hadley. Well, mid-table clash, that one. It is. Um, Ely City, Heacham, Fakenham, Thetford. Halston Downham, Kirkley and Pakefield, Lakenheath, Long Melford versus Deerham. That's a decent game. I should think that's quite a good game because um, Long Melford are doing really well. Yeah. <laughs> We're not trying to pick you off much. <laughs> uh, Mildenor, Woodbridge, and Walsham Lewillows, Sheringham. Yeah, do you want to do Mondays? Okay, Woodbridge versus Long Melford at two o'clock. Three o'clock, we've got Deerham versus Harleston, which is another decent game. Um, Hadley versus Ely. Heacham yep. versus Downham. <laughs> we've got a comment. Do you think they could change the FDC? Uh, sorry, do you want to read that as well? Sorry, go on. <laughs> do you think they could change the FDC stadium name to the Pitch of Nightmares? Lee you're, Lee, you're really trying to lose your accreditation at the FDC, aren't you? No. <laughs> Evening all. <laughs> Don't know if they watch the show. Evening all. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, sorry. I carry I'm on. Sure the content of this show get back to them. Come I've on. forgotten where I was now. <laughs> um, I was at Heacham Downham, I think. That's it. Yeah. And then Kirkland, and Patefield, Brantham, Lake and Heath, Mildenhall. Sheringham, Fakenham, Soham versus Walsham. Go on, Walsham. Um, and <laughs> Thetford versus Newmarket, which is a very big game. Go on, Newmarket. It is for both games, uh, for both teams, isn't it? Uh, Daryl, go on. You can do the north side. Go on, I will let you. Oh, you just you're just going to let me do this so I can get the train out, aren't you? That's a whole idea. <laughs> <laughs> this town against FC Peterborough. FC Parson drove against Holland. Framlingham, <laughs> Framlingham against Harwich. So come on, Harwich. Yeah, it's a key game, that one. Um, <laughs> Haverhill, Barrow, Layston under 23s. Needham Market under 23s at home to Hull Beach. CBS train. Choo choo. At home to Haverhill Rovers. Imagine if you just drop that. What? Imagine if you just drop that. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. Again. Stanway Pegasus versus Dustendale and Helston. Swaffham Town versus AFC Sudbury Reserves. Whittlesea Athletic against the Champions. Whitton United versus um, Cornard. <laughs> and then Easter Monday, 12 o'clock, AFC Sudbury Reserves v Haverhill. And then 3 o'clock, 
Cornard mm. versus Needham Mark at under 23s. Yep. Dustin Dale and Halston versus Swatham. The Champions versus the Train. <laughs> hey. Harwich and Parkerston v Witten. Haverhill Rovers v Stanway. Holbeach v Whittlesey. And Leicester under 23s versus the Runners Up. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm never going to say that anymore. Uh, Frontier versus Harwich. It's a huge game. Yes, it is a huge game. Uh, James 18, evening. There we go. <laughs> no, uh, what? Before we completely lose the plot here, Daryl, <laughs> shall we just move on? <laughs> I'm going to move on. Yeah. Oh, uh, what? Ruben, Ruben. What's happening at Trafford Park? I don't know. <laughs> Why not? Is he here? I don't know. Is he? Is Dan Jones going to do it? Bring us a live penalty shootout? I well, have a good with it. He can, he's mm. allowed to film it. Of course, he can. Come on, Dan. Uh, so 86 minutes. Uh, it's still 1-1. One, one. So should we have a penalty shootout live? Yeah. Darryl? Yeah, he needs, to, he, needs to, he needs to do it. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should need I think we need to do that. Um, but um, which so we've only got four minutes left of the uh, game. It's still 1-1 one, one there. But I believe something's happened. No, it hasn't. No. no. What? I thought something's happened because it's all went, it all went yellow and I don't know. What, uh, what does yellow, yellow mean? Something's happened to it, but nothing's happened. <laughs> so eighty-seven minutes have gone. It's still one-one. Um, so <laughs> let's see if we can get a live penalty. Oh no! Amber Wave says penalty shoot out live. Yes, please, Dan. You're the Dan. man. You can do this. Live penalties. Where do you want them? On the side or behind the goal? I don't care where. As long as we can, <laughs> as long as we can get them, it's, that'd, be, that'd be perfect TV for us. Maybe they'll let yeah. Dan, maybe they'll let Dan go on the pitch. <laughs> That's, not happen, is it? That's not going to happen, is it? Really? Uh, so, oh, hang on. We might have something. We might have something. No, oh. don't ruin it. No, we're not ruining it, Mr. Dan Jones. He's here, and Downham has taken the lead <laughs> from an absolutely unbelievable through ball into the middle. No defender was going to go for it, and it's just slotted in right in the middle. Rocks and one, Downham two, and I think there's not long left to play. Well, we did we did say to you that uh, we were going to come live to you for a live penalty shootout, but unfortunately, with that goal. That's not I don't happen. think it will be. I think it's going to be. Yeah, it, want it now. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, unbelievable. Yeah, I, and down. Uh, oh, it's just been pulled down. And I think it could be something happening here. It could, happened, there is a card being pulled out. It was literally. It was last man, but I don't think it's a red. It's a yellow. Just. Are but yeah, sure? it's still two. It's still two one to down them. Should we just stay with you for the free kick? Is it quite a dangerous area? I, um, I mean, it's. It's in, it is a direct one, but obviously I've got to record it for this. Right, OK, you can call record it. Go on in. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you know if it goes in. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Dan. Yeah. There you. you go. Teddy. Did it work? Never mind. I did try. Not, anyway. Um, I did not expect that, Lee. Sorry? I did not expect that. Neither did I, really. But um, Charlie has said that Felix Dale and Walton have signed a Ben Flakes from Peterborough Sports. Great, great lad. Knew him from Norwich United. I was just about to say Norwich United, yes. Ama amazing guy. He is indeed. Um, also, Amber Weber says, go on down him. Yes. Well, so good. what uh, games stand out in the third o, uh, Premier Division for this week? Long Melford Deerham. Anyone else? Even in Thursday? Is that for Newmarket? Wow. It's going to be interesting, isn't it? Right. Okay. So, uh, do we do Super 6 now? I think so. Should we yeah. see the, Yeah. We see get, the, get it done. All right. God. Can we there see the results people. from last week? Because I have Just, no idea how I've got six points. You got a correct score. One correct score. Oh. You've got correct yeah. score. You've got some of the uh, correct oh, scores, okay. you see. So that's why you've got six points. Myself, Wait. I've got five points with Richard and Stephen. Amber Wave. Uh, Daryl comes in fourth. I think I got the Walsh and the Willows faking them. 
Correct, you did. <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> Tony Game Day uh, got three points. Mr. Jones got two points. James 18 got one. Gary got one. And of course, Ben. Tony got one point. Also, make sure you follow myself and the non-league football shop for a uh, mystery shirt at the end of the season. Let's quickly just have a look to see if Mr. Dan Jones has come back to us. Probably not. Uh, Stephen has put how on earth have I managed five points? You got a correct score. So, here they are. The weekend's Super 6 uh, games. Actually, Sudbury versus St. Ives. Berrytown versus Phoenix Down Walton. Ipswich Wonder versus Roxham. Bacon and Town versus Beckford. Longmouth in against Theorem. And, of course, we got this now versus FC Peterborough. So, ladies no and gentlemen, friends. for week... Week two. Oh. <laughs> that train's going to get a lot of uh, abuse, I think. Uh, so. mm. Don't you think, uh, Ruben? Don't I think what? I said about his train. He's going to get abuse <laughs> his train, really. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll find Ruben, out. Ruben loves the train because the, the carriage is new market. Look. Oh, for God's Yeah, well, it's, the, it's new market colours as well. Yeah, Yellow and blue. Maybe this is the train for the playoff winners. Maybe. We'll see. Why would you say that? Right, anyway. Oh, dear. I should have written this down earlier, but never mind. I forgot. I don't, uh, know, so I don't know about you, Lee, but I'm exhausted. It's been a what? busy show. I was waiting for the pun. No, no, there isn't. Are you sure? Normally there is, there is normally a pun with you there. Nah. Are you sure? I'm just thinking long and hard about my long mail for deer and prediction. Oh, well, I know what it's going to be, so come on. Do you? Yes. I might it's, gonna, it's either going to be nil nil or one one or two two. Is it? No, it's going to be a long Melford win. Could be. Oh, on form, aren't they? Wow. There we go. Wow. Um, Amber Wave has. <coughs> Excuse me. Said uh, Yarmouth Knight in the Super Six. Outrageous. Well, to, be fair, to be fair, Lee, that is pretty outrageous. Yeah. They've, they've got a perfectly valid point there. Oh, well. Never mind. Maybe next week. Uh, so, OC Sudbury versus St. Ives. Who is going to start us off, please? 1 0 to AFC Sudbury. Ooh. <laughs> Two one to Saint Ives. Whoa. Wow. Uh, I think Saint Ives are going to win by two goals to one. Yes. Oh. Uh, Stephen has gone for a two win, a two one win for Sudbury. Wow. Uh, James. Oh my god. He's already put his uh, predictions out already. Thanks, James. So that is uh, Amber Wave Steve. Let's put Sudbury 2 to Norris 1. James 18. Thanks, James, for all your uh, messages there. Ooh. So he's gone for a Sudbury 2 1 win. Berry Town 4 2. It's which one is 2 1. Fake them. What, uh, Fetford 3 1. There for Fetford. Non Melford 2. Durham Town 2. This 2. AFC, uh, FC Peterborough 1. Wow. There's his mm -hmm. trade going along. Where are we up to, Lee? The second Very one. Very Very town versus Phoenix Down Walton. Go for it. Um, oh, um, Very Town two, Felix Doe one. Okay. Good show. Really. Very two, Felix Doe two. <laughs> I think it's going to be 3 1 to Berry Town. Mm. Mm. Yes. Uh, the Bananas are in action. It's which Rogers versus Roxham. 1 1. 1 1. Daryl, wow. Ruben? Ipswich Wanderers 1, Roxham 2. 
Well, because I got it like, right last week, <clears throat> it's just one, just two. Rocks and one. Ooh. So that'd be good. Uh, oh, my God. Are you ready for this one? Steven's put it's just one, just nine. Rocks and nil. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? That'd be wow. very good. <laughs> that'd be good, though. Uh, that'd be very good. Very good indeed. Let's put nine new on there. So it is Franklin Town versus Fetford Town. I'm going to this, Lee. I know you are. And there's going to be an offside trust as well, isn't there? Offside trust awareness day. It is indeed. I will be up there. You want a score prediction, yeah? Yes, please. Franklin oh. Town one. Fetford Town one. Okay. Ruben? Uh, they can number a hard team to play. They are um, very. Um, oh, one, Thetford one. Yes, I think I'm gonna join you. I'm gonna say one one as well. Mm. I think it's gonna be a draw. Uh, Amber Wave, Stephen. So, what to thank you then? Oh, that'll be a big result. Wow, yeah, that would be, that'd be a very, very big result for faking them. Definitely. Those ghosts are not going to be caught this time. Uh, oh, hang on. Wait for it. Wait for it. No, not 2 He's 2. Back. He's back. He's no, back. Surely He's not. Back. He's back. I think it might be full time. Not He's two back. Two. Not Mr. Two. Jones, you're back. Final it's score. Two two. No, I'm joking. It's full time. <laughs> 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 well, that'd be oh, interesting my. if you got that. Sorry? That'd be interesting if you do that. If you no, no. Yeah, no, but what a, what a comeback for Downham that was. They definitely deserved it. Really pushed through that second half there. Roxham really were pushing for, to try and get that equaliser there, but couldn't be uh, good enough. And uh, Downham go on to face what in United. Another semi-final for them. Of course, they're in the uh, Challenge Cup final as well against Harlow, aren't they, yeah, Dan? God, just imagine the double. <laughs> Gosh. Of course, they're pushing as well for the playoffs as well, so you never know exactly. what's going to happen. Maybe a triple then for you them. Never you never know. Uh, Dan, I can see you're going home quite quickly. Uh, make sure you get your predictions in. Yeah, I'll, I'll message them to you. No worries. Right. Thank you very much, Dan. Appreciate it. Uh, so, uh, Rock, the phone for the, the sat nav. I need to end? use the phone for the sat nav. <laughs> I bet you do. Thanks very much. <laughs> Cheers, sir. Thank you. See ya. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Well, he, he's had a good night, hasn't he? He certainly has. Dan Jones with the senior cup magic. Yes, definitely. We don't want that. There we go. So, so, so it's basically down, down and more Wharton. We'll, we'll be playing at Carrow Road. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Cunningham. Evening, gents. There he is, Mr. Ben. Hello, Ben. How are you? All right, Dan. Feral. Chill. Whoa. I'm just excited about Downham. Yeah, Downham's done a very, very good season in the first first season in the third day Premier Division. Mm. Mm. Could they only come up from last season in the playoff final? They might yeah. have they might have some champagne in a little while. I think they might have some champagne right now. Anyway, gentlemen. Where did we get to? Uh, yeah, I know, what's, I know what's going to happen here, Daryl. We won't start with you, Daryl, because I don't want to. No, I, need, I need time to think about it. Of course you do. Evening, Toasty. He's going to put Long Melford to win. Um, <laughs> <coughs> That'll be interesting. Long Melford nil, Dereham three. Ooh. Ooh. Evening, Dave. And an old uh, uh team there. Go on, Daryl. Go on, tell me. I think it's going to be what, what, or deal, deal, or two, two. What? Nah, it's going to be a long Melford win. What did you say? Sorry. It's either going to be deal, deal, one, one, two, two. That be it, or three all. Well, I've been thinking long and hard about this, Lee. Of course you have. You see, long Melford yeah. doing well at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'd be tough. I'm going to write this down. It's going to be 1-1. One, one. I reckon it could be a very close game. 0-0. Nil, 0-0. Yeah. Nil. Nil, nil. See? Easy, isn't it? Easy. 
Evening Toasty. Evening Mrs. Toasty. Nil, nil, Lee. Definitely. 100%. See, what did I tell you? Very good. Mm. Okay, really I like think you wanted to go with a long mouth of win. Uh, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? All oh, right, okay. I um, think, actually, Lee, I think Long Melford could win the game. But well, yeah. Wait, are you changing? I'm not changing, but are you, Long changing? Mel- are you, cha- are you gonna change? Long Melford got a chance to win, definitely. I have. Uh, <laughs> let's go for a Long Melford win. Then two one. Then to Long Melford. I thought you might. There you go. Tempting, isn't it? I have. 2 one to Lord Melford. Evening all. Um, so, game day. Let's put his predictions in. So, he's gone for AFC Sudbury 3. Oh. Set noise 1. Berry Town 1. Finkelstone 2. Ipswich 2. Roxham 2. Fankenham 1. Fetford 1. Lord Melford. Neil Deerham Town 2. Dish Town 3. FC Peterborough, uh, Ber- Peterborough 0. And there you go. Play himself. Clean sheet. Middle of our goal. In the middle of our... That's it. Uh, of course, the last one. This town versus AFC Peterborough. What have we got? This town. Four. Peterborough, two. Four? <laughs> are, you, are you feeling all right? Yeah. After, you, after you've just gone for a nil, uh, hang on, yeah, a nil nil, you've gone for a four two. Yeah. Wow. Jesus. Just because, <laughs> just because I can. Yeah. You nil nils. Um, They're not very really good, my nil nils, are they? Not particularly, no. Uh, Steve's put two one to this town. Dear them keep causing upsets of all these victories. Of course they do. I'm going to go this one, FC Peterborough one. Well, I'm going for a this town win. I'm going for a this town three, FC Peterborough one. I thought you might. Of course I will. You, so, you, you and this town, you're like that. Like that. Well, I've, I've been to the last three games. <laughs> Maybe another one. So we never know. Uh, a wave. FC Peterborough are a strong physical mm. and, and is hard to break down. Yes, I can agree with that. Um, so that's it, gentlemen. That's it for another show. Yeah. Wow, that was um, so where, where are we off to uh, Saturday, Ruben? Um, yes. Little Ampton to see my girlfriend. Because <laughs> right, okay. Newmarket aren't playing. Well, the first team aren't be, playing. I thought you'd be going to the reserves. Right. Yeah, yeah, I probably, I probably should have. And then you'll get. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just see you keep up to date with it. Yeah. Well, you need the banana spit, though, don't you? Really, to go along. But well, anyway, don't worry yeah. about it. Don't. Yeah. Do you want me to? Do you want me to have a banana next time when I'm on the show? No, don't worry. Um, <laughs> that would just be wrong at all levels. Right. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, Daryl, where are you off to? What, right now? No, on s- at the weekend. Uh, Faking of Saturday. Yes. Mm. Mm. First off Monday. Wow. Um, unfortunately, ladies and gents, I won't be going to any football. Um, working again, as normal. Um, but um, I hope everyone is going to have a, a lovely Easter weekend. There's his train again. I wonder if I didn't connect there. We go. Well, anyway, um, hope everyone's going to enjoy themselves, really, um, over the weekend. Hopefully, we'll see you next week. Of course, remember to get your Super 6 in by Saturday, 12 o'clock. DM me, comment below. Keys, yes. Um, so, hopefully, we'll see you. Next. Got to get your Super 6 in by 12. Yes, on Saturday. Need it by 12. And that is key if you want points. Yes. Let's see if Ruben can still be top of the league. I hope everyone has a lovely weekend and we'll see you next week. But for now, see you soon. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye.